Just got done a little bit of a trials ride, first ride of the season. It's coming back. I'll throw some footage in there in the video um, for my vlog, but a little ride about an hour and a half. Good to go, practicing some wheelies, working on the clutch, working on the back brake, all that good stuff, so. everybody um, so today I got a couple things that I want to do for this vlog the first one is um, I want to show you my new seat cover on my bike second one is uh, we're gonna unbox these wheels um, so I'm looking forward to that I'll take a look at those but first over for the bike just very quickly new SKDA seat cover uh, big iron moto uh, is nice enough to um, get the crew a bit of a, uh, a deal on this stuff. So I ordered this SKDA seat cover. Um, as you can see, suspension still not back, um, but it should be coming back soon. Install was pretty good on the seat. Uh, I do have a little bit of wrinkles. It's not quite as tight um, as I could have gotten it, I don't think, uh, but I used the original seat pan and the original seat foam. Um, the original seat cover needed to be replaced and I wanted a grippy one anyway. Uh, but when I took the foam off, um, it had obviously stayed wet for a certain period of time. Um, and it was in a not horrible shape, but not in the best shape. So I dried it all out, put it back on. Um, so anyways, I think the seat foam is likely going to need a replacement. Maybe this year, maybe at the end of this season. We'll see if I can get another season out of it. Um, we'll see how the seat cover holds up. It seems to be extremely well made, seems to be pretty tough and it, the, the material's nice and thick. So if it lasts, um, maybe we'll replace the seat foam, put the cover back on, you know, that's, uh, one more rep, a little bit of experience putting them on cause that was my first one I've ever done. And I think I can get those wrinkles out. Um, I was thinking it was going to be front to back was going to get the wrinkles out, as I put the seat on and, and, and uh, clipped it into place. But as it turns out, I've noticed after I put it on that it was actually uh, side to side. So I probably could have pulled it a bit tighter in here um, and stapled it. All done with hand tools, hand stapler, no uh, pneumatic stapler or anything like that or electric stapler, all hand stapler. I'm not gonna do a video on it. There's lots of videos on YouTube. Um, I went and followed a couple of those and, uh, and it went on pretty well. So anyway, that's it. I think it looks really nice um, and hoping it's a little bit grippy because I did find last year I was uh, slipping off it uh, during some really muddy races, the corduroy enduro being the main one. Um, I could barely sit on my bike at the end of the race. So Valley Rally Enduro shirt. Make sure OVR 5, I think, this year. Um, Sign-ups already started. They're out of cottages. Uh, but they do have some trailer sites and of course there's accommodations in Barry's Bay. So make sure you check them out on social media because uh, OVR is always a good time. Those trails are amazing. All right, so here we go. This might be the only thing I have in common with uh, Johnny Walker. So let's take a look at these. So I haven't told you guys what type of wheels they are. But those of you who own betas know, um, you know, you can you can find different models of wheels um, that are cross compatible uh, for certain years and older years with KTM, so on and so forth. Um, my dealer, lucky enough, dealt with or deals with SM Pro wheels. I believe they're a company out of the UK, um, which probably explains why 
they sponsored Johnny Walker. But check out those. Sorry, probably not even in the screenshot. Check those out. We're gonna get some close-ups here. We got the red anodized um, hubs, which are so nice. They come fully set up with bearings, which I'm probably gonna pull the covers to make sure that they're greased up really well. Um, the SM Pro, the platinum wheel. Uh, I don't know the specs off the top of my head, but I do know that the uh, platinum wheel set is um, higher grade. Um, so, you know, better materials for the actual rim and they come with the bulldog spokes. I don't know if you can see those from there. We'll do a close up, but those are crazy. Look at those spokes. The red anodized uh, spoke nipples on there. That styrofoam sticks to everything. Um, but man, just how nice is that wheel? That's crazy. So nice. Flip it over. Yeah. We'll do a bit of a close up on these, but I, and, so, and again, I'll, I'll confirm because this is just gonna be an unboxing video. But as I get to installing them, I will confirm for you because what I've been told is um, basically uh, the spacers, they'll fit right in. Um, you know, the fork and on the swing arm, you'll be good to go. And you should be able to use all of the stock discs and sprockets on them. So that'll be interesting. Uh, I hope that's the case. If it's not the case, I will definitely update it because I will do... A bit of an install video um, these are getting a set of moose new rim locks um, you know I got to do the rim tape and everything on them just trying to waterproof them up uh, but that's what will be going on here so all right let's take a look what's in here oh, my sticker got all bent up that's okay oh shoot another sticker <laughs> I like to put those on my toolbox. You can probably see the toolbox in the background. Oh, that's cool. There's some seal covers right there. Perfect. And these are spacers. Uh, Bulldog. Bulldog high tensile spokes. As far as I know, super popular, super strong. And there are some spacers. All right, let's take a look at these. So there is the hub. There is some um, little pieces of styrofoam kicking around. Honestly, like, no burrs, no marks. I mean, these are absolutely gorgeous. It's almost gonna be a sin to mount them because I'm probably gonna scratch them up when I mount them. So, but I mean, stainless steel spokes with some um, anodized red nipples so red and red man it's gonna look so good holy cow the rims look really nice sm pro platinums it's cool sm pro right there like they're just i don't know the machining and everything the color um very 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 nice and the spokes are just like, I don't know if you can tell how thick these spokes are. Holy cow. They look super tough. SM Pro Platinum Wheels. Can't wait. It's my second wheel set. 18 times 2.15. Made sure I had the right size when I ordered my new rim lock. But those are gonna look so good. Okay, so the rear wheel I had actually already opened. We opened it at the dealership because when uh, when the guys got it in the parts department, uh, they couldn't wait to open it. They they really wanted to open them, so uh, that's okay. They treat me well enough that uh, that's fine. They wanted to take a look at them, and I'm glad they did because they were blown away. Um, they gave me a call right away. So this is the front wheel, and this box has never been opened. Anyway, they're packed fairly well. Um, and then there's uh, some kind of, you know, specialty box cutouts. 
to really hold them in the center of the box so that they're not moving around too, too much. So that's cool. Again, I mean, holy cow, I'm just so impressed with these so far. I had heard about the Bulldog spokes before and I knew that they were popular um, because of how strong they are, but I mean, just the rest of the, the rest of these wheel set, the rest of these wheel sets just look so nice. You know, like every company, of course, there's going to be, you know, if you do enough searching, you'll find somebody who wasn't happy with something. Um, so, you know, I had seen a review where it said, you know, maybe the machining, but let me tell you, um, 2022, like this stuff is just gorgeous. Holy cow. I mean, they've done a really good job. There's no dings, no scratches, nothing on the nipples. Everything is, like everything is, it's perfect. Yeah, I'm really, really excited to get these mounted. I have an M59 tire for the front with a moose, and I have a Shinko 525 cheater for the rear with a moose, two Zeta, or Zeta, however you pronounce it, two brand new uh, rim locks. I'll cut a couple of valve stems out from some old tubes, and I'll put those in. And uh, for the rear moose, I, I'm going with a with a with a plush uh, plush or a softy uh, nitro moose. So those are supposed to feel quite a bit better. Um, and then for the front, I'll go with the standard. I'm actually gonna try and stuff a slightly larger used uh, moose, uh, a 21 inch, but that would that came for a fatty tire. I'm gonna try and stuff that into. Uh, the M59 and the kind of the regular, you know, 80, 121. We'll see if it goes. I'm hoping it does uh, because I do find front mooses, or my, my lease on my bike, um, they softened up pretty quick. And I'm not a huge fan of the soft feeling on the front. So while in the, in the rear, uh, you know, six PSI feels perfect. For me on the front, I would prefer um, that the moose feel closer to I mean somewhere between 8 and 10 but I would even take maybe even a couple PSI uh, north of 10 as well I just I find it just protects the rim better um, and for higher speed stuff if you're, you're trying to get that tire to dig in and turn and bite um, a little bit uh, higher PSI works uh, works better um, but anyways doesn't really matter we'll see I have I have a couple of different options for the front tire so we'll see anyways yeah they look really nice all right so that's it for uh, that's it for tonight so just quickly again you saw the seat cover you get to see these uh, awesome SM Pro Platinum wheels again Pete sales and service my local dealer hooked me up again these things came in days after being ordered so um, it was really cool to get them um, and I'm excited to get them mounted up so again two wheel sets which is I think gonna be awesome this year check back because I will put another video up after I uh, mount the tires hopefully it all matches up and everything's good and there's no problems um, but yeah check back because I will definitely make sure that I follow up on that in a subsequent video so anybody who's interested in buying another set of wheels if you want to, uh, you know, spend the cash on uh, on SM Pro Platinum wheels because they're not cheap, um, you'll know if uh, if they match up and if the if everything's interchangeable. My big question, although I think I know the answer, is will the discs and sprockets uh, fit, or will I have to find you know a different disc and sprocket bolt configuration to go on these? But I think they're standard beta, so we'll see. Um, Anyway, thanks for watching vlog number two, 2022, getting ready for the season. So there's lots of work going on. Um, so keep checking back.